What's going on everyone? It's your boy Savvy and welcome back to The Savvy Show. And today we got a cool one because this seemed pretty goofy from just my own first impressions. However, if you guys have been commenting about this SCP throughout my um, comments of other SCPs, how this one is like really cool and like it's like some more lore towards um, this SCP than what it, you know, just looks like because it looks like a blob of freaking jello to me. Like, it doesn't look too strong. However, like always, you shouldn't judge a book by its cover, and that's why we're getting into it today. And this is SCP-999, the Tickled Monster. So, I like I can't assume anything when it's just so. I don't know what to expect. That's what I'm trying to say. So that's why we're diving deep. So with that all out of the way, if you guys are enjoying my reactions and you guys are loving the SCPs I cover, please remember to smash that like button. It will mean the world, and it takes less than a second. And also, if you haven't made that jump and you haven't subbed yet. Smash the sub button, man. The train has stopped. It's in the building, but, but like how the old saying goes, the show must go on. So hop in, let's have a blast. We go full throttle on this channel and I post every day for you guys so you'll never be bored. It's a win-win, man, if you enjoy my reaction style. So um, without all out the way, remember, support the original creator, the link in the description below. And without any further ado, let's get this show started. Alrighty, SCP-999, The Tickled Monster. Let's get it. <laughs> I don't know what I'm getting myself into, guys and girls. Almost all cross-testing to kill or pacify SCP-682 had failed miserably. If you have 682? Oh, did I hear that right? Is this another SCP? Almost all cross-testing to kill or pacify SCP-682 had failed miserably. It is. If you haven't seen it, go watch our video on the legendary hard-to-kill reptile to see just how powerful and terrifying this creature is. It faced the Gate Guardian, an SCP with a flaming sword hotter than the sun, capable of tearing your atoms to shreds, and came out fine. In its face-off with the horrifying SCP-096, also known as the Shy Guy, We've seen that one. it broke the Shy Guy's mind and reduced it to gibbering despair. Even SCPs with supposedly unlimited powers simply refused to engage the beast in combat. Whoa, I mean, I, I love the indestructible creature, but I didn't know it was the plague doctor doesn't want to intrigue. I don't know this dude, but the other dudes from like Doctor Who, they don't even want to like mess with it. Wow. I Whoa, whoa, whoa. Usually when they do this, they make it seem like what's what's going to transpire, which is the SP, SCP of this video, 999, might be able to go toe to toe with the indestructible creature. Are you kidding me? The Toko monster, really? We gotta see this. So, when it was proposed that they test 682 with SCP-999, a creature known among Foundation staff as the Tickle Monster, the idea was considered laughable. Yeah. 682 had been burned, suffocated, cut up, incinerated, and growled in the faces of the gods. How could this so-called Tickle Monster ever hope to survive an encounter, let alone win a fight? Some even believe that this was the last we'd see of SCP-999. Oh god, because What makes cute. this story truly remarkable is that that isn't how this played out. As you'll soon discover, SCP-999 is an amazing and unique SCP in and of itself. But its secret origins and its interactions with some other prominent figures in the SCP universe are what make this humble, slimy creature beyond extraordinary. Prepare yourself for the heartwarming, yes, you heard that right, the heartwarming story of SCP-999. What? Several highly trained agents on 682 detail place 999 into the immortal lizard cell. Compared to the giant reptilian sitting across from it, 999 it. wasn't much to look at. It's a large orange amorphous blob of anomalous slime. <sighs> Weighing in at around 120 pounds, SCP-999 was nothing compared to the monstrosity it was supposed to face. While its weight has, in the past, caused minor injuries to some of its human handlers, Whoa. it has never caused serious or long-lasting damage of any kind to a living thing. Even its diet hmm. consists only of candy and sweets, with a particular <laughs> preference for M&Ms and Necco wafers. Wow. It consumes these treats through the cell membrane of its slimy body, much like an amoeba. This extremely stretchy membrane means the creature is highly malleable, including the ability to stretch and flatten itself out to a mere two centimeters thick. At rest, okay. the creature takes a dome-like shape around two meters wide and one meter in height. All right. The closest things the creature has to limbs are prehensile pseudopods. Those are the arm-like projections normally seen on single-celled organisms, of which it has at least three. 
The more you hear about this utterly harmless creature, the more that matching it up with the pure embodiment of absolute hatred known as SCP-682 feels downright cruel. In absolute contrast to the misanthropic attitudes of the reptile, okay. 999 loves humans. It has a playful dog-like attitude. Much like an overexcited puppy, so it's like the opposite. 999 will react with extreme joy and slither towards the nearest person in order to interact. It will leap onto them, using two of its three prehensile pseudopods to hug the person, yeah. while the third nuzzles the person's face, emitting high-pitched cooing and gurgling noises throughout. The creature is apparently pleasant in every conceivable fashion, as even its odor has been reported to smell just like the favorite scent of whoever is smelling it. What? Examples have included chocolate, wow. fresh laundry, bacon, roses, and Play-Doh. It's almost impossible to oversell just how beloved and benevolent this strange creature is. Oh my infinity. It's one of the rare <laughs> sapient SCPs to earn the safe class, and it's allowed Damn. to run freely around its facility at all times, apart from a one-hour time times? period between 8 and 9 p.m. What? In the rare instances that 999 has caused harm to a worker at the facility, it immediately began to back away and contract its body while whimpering in a Aww. kind of dog-like apology. Damn. The closest the Foundation has ever come to having a real incident with the creature was the time someone accidentally fed it a can of caffeinated cola, uh -oh. causing it to become hyper for an hour before becoming visibly queasy. You'll be relieved to know that it's since made a full recovery. That dude's goofy, bro. He, he put the whole can in it. Like, you could have just pour it? <laughs> oh my goodness. But what would happen when this whimsical creature is forced to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the Foundation's most ill-tempered monster? Let's see it! The employees observing the test watched in suspense as 999 began to enthusiastically slither towards 682. It's no surprise that after being tortured and almost killed hundreds of times during testing, 682 had grown jaded to the cross test it was regularly subjected to. Okay. When it saw this strange orange blob squelching across the ground towards it, it sighed and groaned, expecting the worst. What is that? The creature <laughs> asked of its gelatinous guest. SCP-999 began jumping up and down in front of 682 like an excited puppy, creating a high-pitched squealing noise. Just as it regarded all living things, 682 thought the creature bouncing around before it was disgusting and hardly worth the effort to destroy. <laughs> what? Is the Foundation even trying anymore? With a single vicious <laughs> stomp, 682 flattened the friendly creature beneath one of its feet. Damn, that was fast. Observers were prepared to charge in and liberate 999 from under 682's claws. But then something truly unexpected happened. The expression on 682's acid-eaten face began to slowly change. It was beginning to smile. Observers recorded a noise, what they thought what? could have been a chuckle, as the creature growled and said, hmm, what is this? I feel good. While the observers looked on, stunned at what was happening, 999 began to slither and crawl up from between 682's toes. It reformed on its scaly leg and slithered up along its side until it reached the neck. What? There it began to nuzzle like it had never nuzzled before. The results spoke for themselves. 682 was grinning and chuckling, repeating a phrase that the Foundation never would have imagined coming from 682. Feel so happy. 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 What? Just when you thought SCP-999 couldn't possibly be more adorable, you learn about oh its greatest God. power, bringing joy. Anyone and anything that comes into contact with the creature, even in passing, will experience a kind of mild euphoria. As one's Damn. contact with the creature is prolonged, this overwhelming sense of joy increases and continues long after you've separated from it. Prolonged contact has completely cured depression, anxiety, and PTSD. What? Along with a number of other conditions, including rage and antisocial That's personality crazy. disorders. That's crazy! Serial killers practically become saints after coming into prolonged contact with 999. And in that moment, 682 was no exception. And there truly does not appear to be no exceptions. Oh my well, causing god. causing happiness and joy isn't a dangerous weapon. When it comes to SCP-999, it is an extremely powerful one. And what's more, yeah. SCP-999 also appears to have an... They could use this SCP for so much? Oh my... Th like, if they really want to be smart about it, this could change mankind. Could stop wars. Oh my... Guys, th this is crazy. It made sense for those who need its help most, with a particular affection for the hurt and the unhappy. The creature appears to be a true altruist on a fundamental level, even risking its own safety to help humans during dangerous containment breaches. 
In one dramatic instance, 999 leaped into the air to block a bullet from making contact with a member of staff. What? Okay, this SCP is the MVP of the SPC Foundation. I'm just being honest. Is it an agent now? Like, oh my goodness. It could run whenever it wants. And it has a bedtime like it's just like living. Yo, this is, this is insane. As a result, the creature is pretty much universally loved by all members of Foundation staff. It's the one SCP who has never made trouble for anyone. Back in SCP-682's containment cell, yeah. the beast was still smiling and laughing as 999 rubbed against its neck. It was an event so strange, so unprecedented, that the observers and attendants felt like they were hallucinating. For a few <laughs> minutes, the monster kept dreamily repeating the word, happy but then suddenly uh -oh. the creature began to enter a fit of uncontrollable booming laughter it rolled onto its back slamming its huge tail against the door it had just fallen victim to one of 999's favorite pastimes tickle fights hence how it earned its tickle monster nickname oh my god was it tickling it the tickle fight continued until 682 appeared to tire and fall asleep with a smile still on its face after 15 minutes of inactivity, two D-Class personnel were commanded to what? enter and retrieve SCP-999 from the containment cell. Okay. They did so successfully, but as soon as 999 was removed, 682 roused from its slumber and released a powerful psychic attack from its entire body while laughing maniacally. It rendered all personnel within a certain distance incapacitated. Ah, psychic abilities? Okay, I didn't know that. Um, this is news to me. I didn't... Oh, maybe they just didn't cover in the, the SCP video that I covered of him. As they collapsed in fits of laughter, allowing 682 to escape and go on a violent rampage. However, in Dang. spite of this, 999 showed no fear and helped save some of the bystanders as security officers subdued and recaptured 682. That's, that's crazy. It beat, it beat SCP-643. It beat the indestructible monster, creature, whatever. Wow. Like, no cap. It literally did. It passed out, and he left unharmed. Oh, my God. Wow. This and might this might be the strongest SCP. And it's not even, like, I'm not even trying to be funny about it. It seems like it could, like, reform itself, too, but it gets, like, squished or whatever. So, like, blunt force can't do nothing to it. What if you burn it? What will happen? Wow, this is crazy. Even after all of this, 999 showed no hard feelings towards 682 and indicated a desire to play again. It's a creature whose capacity for love is so limitless that it's practically immune to fear. Which is all well and good wow. because the true enemy that 999 is destined to face is infinitely more powerful and terrifying than 682 could ever hope to be. The Scarlet King? What is this monster? And why should 999 have to face it someday? The answers to these questions all lie in the true origins of SCP-999, available only to those with level 5 clearance and beyond. Damn, it's I thought I had the level 5. It's how something good can come from the darkest places. There would be no SCP-999 without SCP-231-7. SCP-231 was a collection of seven girls, all impregnated by horrific nightmares in a ritual performed by a cult known as the Children of the Scarlet King. Yo! So this is what you guys were talking about! Because you guys were telling me, like, this um, SCP, all, all those women having babies. But these are all... I'm... Oh, okay. Let me calm down. So the Scarlet King, I'm assuming, impregnated all these all these girls, and these are the children of the Scarlet King. And don't tell me that the Tuckle Monster is one of those children, and I won't be surprised if the Instructable Creature is one of the children as well, too. Oh, my God. Each of these girls, over the years that followed, gave birth to some of the most horrific monsters imaginable. One of which, according to some, was SCP-682. These beings were manifested by the Scarlet King, a powerful interdimensional nightmare god believed to be behind a great deal of the darkness and horror present within our and many other dimensions. Yep. Foundation higher-ups have declared the Scarlet King to be the greatest existing threat to the multiverse at large. And SCP-231 was his latest direct interaction with our universe. Wow. The only surviving member of SCP-231, SCP-231-7, gave birth in secret. But she didn't give birth to a monster, 
She gave birth to SCP-999. Wait, she was the of pure goodness. She was the only one alive? SCP-231-7 SCP gave birth in Scarlet King to be the greatest existing threat to the multiverse at large. Mm -hmm. And SCP-231 was his latest direct interaction with our universe. Okay. The only surviving member of SCP-231. So out of all the seven girls, they're all dead? How did they die? Did they die after the pregnancy? So I'm assuming when you get like a when you when you give birth to a crazy ass creature, like yo, know, I doubt your body could handle it. But is that if that's how they die, it will make sense. SCP-231-7 gave birth in secret, Dang. but she didn't give birth to a monster. She gave birth to SCP-999, a being of pure goodness. That's right, the nicest, kindest. Cuddliest SCP of all is the direct descendant of a being that's essentially the dark god of all evil. Holy shit. Feel free to take a moment to absorb that. <laughs> the creature even healed the girl who birthed it. What? And allowed her to return to normal life with her family once more. Oh my goodness! In the first moments, SCP-999 was making positive changes to the world around it. And according to ancient texts from a Scarlet King-aligned culture known as the Deivas, SCP-999 is still very much in its infancy, yet it already has the power to pacify its monstrous siblings, like the aforementioned 682. Oh my god, siblings. It's believed, according to some prophecies and foundation theories, that the power of SCP-999 will grow exponentially as it matures. What? Why does this matter? Well, it's believed by some that one day, 999 will grow powerful enough to overthrow not only its own monstrous siblings, but the thought-to-be unstoppable Scarlet King himself. Get the fuck out of here, bro. No way. Don't tell me this Tickle monster is the chosen one. This guy's like Neo from the Matrix. Oh, yo. This goof... Goofball of a freaking SCP, which I thought, yo, is the chosen one. <laughs> this, this dude. Oh my goodness. I can't, I can't. Bruh, this is good. <laughs> oh my goodness. Not through violence or hate. But through the pure force of happiness and love, burning out the darkness and purifying the corrupted. Wow. While the humble SCP-999 rarely outshines its frightening competitors, to those truly in the know, 999 is one of the most powerful and valuable SCPs in existence. Oh, yes. And may be the greatest asset in the Foundation's arsenal for the war against dangerous anomalous activity. After all, what could strike more fear into their hearts than the knowledge that it might be love rather than firepower that finally dethrones the Scarlet King? And for the knowledge that it may one day save everything we know from a fate so much worse than death, with nothing but affection for everyone and everything, That's it's worth crazy. offering thanks to the little orange blob, or at least an extra pack of M&Ms oh before God. bedtime. This dude's the chosen one. Okay, man, like... It's a different kind of like, like I really, I really, really enjoyed this SCP more so f differently from how I enjoy it. Like other SCPs that I really value, value a lot on my list of like top SCPs. This one is different because it surprised me so much. It was like the complete, complete, complete opposite of what I thought it would be. Complete opposite. That's why I enjoyed it the way I did. It's different from seeing it like a badass SCP or a really strong one or like with cool fire powers. Like it's completely different. And I like how they tied together the Scarlet King. And we got more information about the lore within like, you know, the Scarlet King. It seems like the Scarlet King has ties with almost all the SCPs, at least the strongest ones. And to find out those seven girls, SCP-231-7, um, the seven women, how did they all die? Why did he give birth to these people? And, you know, what's his grand plan? God, guys, this was great. This was I didn't think we would get that much juiciness in this in this video. Man, I had a great time. If, if you guys enjoyed this reaction, and if you guys have some of the answers I have to some questions I had in this reaction, please let me know in the comment section below. And also let me know in the comment section how you guys felt about this SCP. If this was your first time watching it along with me, please let me know what you guys thought. If you guys figured it might be this, you know, powerful, or if, if you already knew about 
you know, him being this powerful. What did you guys think during your guys' first impression of this set SCP? I really want to know, guys. This is it took me to, it took me by surprise and it was it was awesome i loved it i loved it man so with all out the way i hope you guys all enjoy the reaction um sub to the channel if you haven't already if you do enjoy my content and with that all out the way that concludes the show unfortunately but like always i'll catch you guys on the next one with the, 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 with